500 megahertz NMR so disconnected with different device for the computer so in the screen I'll give the username and password and so This is the dummy sample. This is the dummy sample always stay in the animal. Uh, there is a sample holder. So I need this is thinner. This this is thinner. So what I'll do. I'll remove this. the enamel probe to see the solvent layer First of all, I will type read shim R S T H. So read shim enter and my solvent. According to the solvent, the previous shim is actually written and saved. So I will get this and my solvent. I know which one is that. So I will write it. Uh, I will select it and I will click read. So after that, finished and the scene is written. And now I will type lock and O C K. Lock means this will lock the solvent. So the which solvent? I give enter which solvent I am using. So I used acetone two sets and click OK and look in progress. So here you will see something like this. 
इट विल बी फिक्स्ड ऑटोमेटिकली This line should be like very thin. It is not like that broaden. But when your sample solution has some uh, other solvent or something, so locking will be like this kind of things. So now <clears throat> the next step is top shim. Top shim and give enter. So for top shim, it will be changed again. It takes a little time to make the top shim. Top shim actually do the shimming problem. What is the shimming thing? So see, this line should be just one single line. But when it has something this, it is shimming problem. So if the shimming is okay, then this line will not have this shoulder. So line, always the sing, singlet line should be straightforward single line so <clears throat> it is important for NMR uh, not to have any shoulder in case of any signal so these signals are important and with the chemist normally understand the signals what is the signal for uh, whoever doing organic chemistry definitely knows that NMR techniques and our signals they can read it's like it's like a ultrasound result so the doctor will know what is that similarly NMR is very important tool to determine or identify the compound it will give a certain signal which is similar to a like that kind of ultrasound technique but it is mechanism is different but we understand by seeing the signal we understand like what is there so basically top shim take a little bit time to go in a certain position so now it looks like it is there but this line is very broadened so one thing we can do we can do the manual shimming manual shimming by using bsms disp so click it and you will see a thing like this. So first click Z, then Z squared, then X, then Y. And what you have to do, click Z and change these two, any one of these two, and see if that line goes up or down. And click either way to go to make it up, maximum up. So I'll click the negative and see like if the line is going up. It is difficult to understand, but if you click a couple of times, then you'll see it is going up actually. So I'm clicking negative to make it up as far as it can go. And I'm understanding it is going up. The red line actually. <clears throat> now it is going down. So I will make one positive so that it can stay the previous one. And then I will switch to Z square and again negative it is going up. Negative it is going up. I can feel that negative going up, negative, going up, negative, going up, negative, going up, negative, negative. negative. 
now it is going down so i will keep one positive to make it a uh, second positive and now i will change to x again a negative looks like going up one more negative okay positive 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 okay then why i'm trying positive going down trying with negative again negative is staying same place then finally again go to z and change negative You know once your this term is done so you can close this one but the line is looks like broaden so sometimes for second locking second time locking can fix this broadening so I'll do one more lock again lock enter and is it on and see let's see if it fix that line broadening or not if it is not then uh, i will run the number same way sometimes it it's due like line broadening can fix by second locking see the that's what i am saying so the line is not broadening now so sometimes second time locking help to make it proper working now i will i will not do the top shim now because since uh this has i know this sample has some solvent issue i will do directly to the bsmi uh dsp so i will do z first z so i will click negative and i will see what is the line going up or down yes it is going a little bit up now second second click it makes down so i'll make just one okay then z square again making a little bit up negative again up so i'll do more up little up I'll keep doing uh, in one direction continuation until it goes up. So last click, it little go, still it is going up. Again, now it is not going up anymore. A little bit, I can maybe do one more, but it is going down. So I'll give one positive to go back to its original position okay then i will change x so again i'll go i will start with negative some it is not mandatory like you have to start negative you can do positive or negative anything but normally negative sometimes works better it's going down negative so i'll go positive first one click to go to the original state then i'll try another positive to see if it goes or change yeah second positive it decreased little bit so i don't need to do i i'll make it negative like zero so all the time when you put like negative or positive this value will be changed so zero looks like good then i'll go y and <clears throat> then positive it changed down we, we we cannot go down so i will give to negative to go to its original position and then again another negative so it is not changing so again i will go to the z so remember z z square x y and again z so give a negative see if it goes up or down yeah it is going up 
I'll go one more. Now it is going down, so I'll make only one. So minus 10. So once it is done, so you don't need to do the top shim for this. For any sample, normally people do the top shim, but uh, since my sample has certain issues, so I am doing just, it is called like manual shimming. So I did the manual shimming, so it is done. Now I'll click here. Shimming is done, then click new. N E W new and put enter so you will put your name here okay so i can put my name my sample name already is there so i can uh, if i want to change the name i can change it So here you will put the sample name and experiment number. So I change the experiment number. <clears throat> so sample name, whatever you it is, like whatever you want to put. Like you can put um, my name is different, so it doesn't matter. Like you have to put this this way. Whatever you can put the experiment number, like if my experiment number and what I exactly did, what is the experiment. So that here you will choose the uh, solvent my solvent is acetone and choose from here like which experiment you want to do this is proton suppose if you want to do the carbon so you have you have to choose uh, c13 cpd but i'm doing the proton so i'll do i'll select proton and once remember name experiment number and those things by default like according to your group or something and you will put the solvent name and the experiment name and it is also optional whatever you want to put here but mainly this is your animal name so click ok so it is ok now you have to check OB W O B B W O B B so type this and give enter and it will display a curve So see the curve so this red line should be in the middle of this curve <clears throat> so it is not now here so we have to correct it so hope can be corrected by uh, changing the tubing from there so see this box that box has a re uh, top and green line like light if you see so we have to make this green light and red light should be removed and it can be done by changing the bottom of this NMR uh, there are some things I don't know if you can see or not So there is a two button, one is called tune, another is called matching. So I change this and if you want to see, see the light. So this is like green, both green. That means the oak should be fixed and you can see here. So oak is fixed. See this line? This line is in the middle. So once it is done, so you can type stop and put enter and it will be gone. Then type get proso. Get proso and type enter. 
then type RGA then enter and then ZZ ZZ so it will start taking your NMR signal so you will see once it will start you will see the information here so see the total scan will be 16 and minus 2 means there there will be two dummy scan that is not important but it scan 0 to 16 so for proton number normally 16 scan is enough for carbon number it should be multiple of 16 but it could be depends on how long you want to do so it could be like um, 50 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes so to make those things you have to multiply this and while this NMR is running in the middle of the experiment you can check by clicking here and then here so you can check the signal here how it is coming but again you can go back to there once until it is finished to the 16 scan so <clears throat> I will wait for the 16 scan so when the 16 scan is done so NMR will show like this and it will show job succeeded so uh, what I'll do I'll do type EF EF and give enter then you will see this and it is not phased properly so you have to do auto phase so type A P K A P K and then give enter so you will get the NMR signal very nice and whatever you want to check you can see like the different regions so there is a meaning actually and if you want to go to the origin like full spectrum you can click A so it will show you the full spectrum and normally NMR starts from 0 to 14 so I can do a zoom here and I can also scroll up by using mouse scroll up so it will go up and again I can do scroll down like mouse using mouse scroll down so once my NMR is done so what I will do I will do EJ type EJ and give enter that NMR will be NMR tube will be coming out so you will see it will make a sound and it will coming up and it will be floating on the air or nitrogen so I have to go back to take the NMR tube back Back. And I will put another sample. So now tube is again floating there. So I'll type IAJ like insert in German language insert maybe IJ something. Enter. So for the second sample, you don't need to read him. So you can go directly to the lock. So type lock L O C K lock and git enter and select your solvent. So I am using acetone D6. So I select acetone and I'll click OK. And by this way I do the same thing. So this is how we check the take the NMR. So uh, I I hope this will help you to understand how to take the NMR with the machine and software. And if you like my video, subscribe me and uh, wait for my next video. I hope you can learn a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye